and welcome back to the channel guys tool reviews of tools I use uh, today I'm going to be taking you through my uh, car maintenance toolbox that I use for general servicing and uh, repairs uh, of my vehicles so it's a Sealy American Pro toolbox and inside you can see I've lined it with a whole load of stickers just for a little bit of fun really nothing else uh, I've got a magnetic tool tray stuck to the lid Ideal for just holding small parts and things. Uh, screws uh, stop you from losing it. Really, really useful. And I've got an inspection light just there. You find yourself losing using a lot in engine bays. Uh, I've got a magnetic pickup tool which holds my specs out of the way. Really, really useful for retrieving items when you uh, lose them, drop them into tight spaces and you can't quite reach them really useful I've also used these for starting screws uh, that I couldn't quite get my tool to uh, and then when I, when I've started the thread going I can then use a ratchet or something on it it's really really useful um, great tool to have I've got a pouch here these two things come straight out of the way as soon as I start work obviously they're just in the way there I've got an ODB2 reader but this pouch here carries a whole load of gloves. I find myself changing out gloves a lot. It's just easier than washing your hands sometimes. Uh, so a whole load of nitriles or uh, latex gloves. And I've got a mirror, which just uh, was just off my van. And I use that for uh, working in confined spaces. And places looking for leaks, troubleshooting, you name it. Really, really useful to have a mirror. You can get smaller ones than that though. Uh, I've got a bit of copper grip, copper ease, just for when I'm working on brakes, uh, and a little bit of lithium grease. I've got bigger tubs of these things, but it's just nice to have a little bit of it in the toolbox, just in case I have to take this uh, anywhere on the road or anything. Uh, I've got uh, at the back there, my big half inch drive sockets. I've got a really, really nice selection going all the way up to 32 millimeters. Uh, really, really useful. And I've got the 3 8 sockets, a big, big line of them on a rail there. Gives me lots of options. I've got 3 8 Flexi Ratchet. This is Halfords Advanced. I've got quite a lot of Halfords Advanced tools in there. They uh, come with a lifetime warranty. I don't really need Snap-on or anything like anything expensive like that. Uh, Halford's tools uh, serve me pretty well and if, uh, if they ever break I can just take them in and uh, change them out and they're pretty good at honouring uh, honoring that deal. So 3 x Ratchet, Flexi, useful. Uh, on a similar note I've also got a small Ratchet which is surprisingly useful, it just gets you in tight spaces. See the difference there really really good just to have that option just to get a hand in there and tighten something up i use that a lot i've got a small breaker bar it just saves your ratchets if you've got something like this that you can just get the initial uh, break going uh, before switching to the ratchet really useful to have a small one there sometimes you can't fit a big breaker bar in there but for the times when you can and you need that leverage. I've got this nice big breaker bar here that can really put that leverage onto it. Uh, this one's made by Clark. And it's served me well so far. Carry all manner of uh, extension bars. And a lot of them have the wobble sockets there. So they've just got a little bit of movement to, uh, to get you around bends and it's things that you can't quite reach they're really really useful i like these got a half inch ratchet for that heavier duty work i don't necessarily need to carry half inch drive stuff in here i could probably lighten the load a little bit but because i'm not walking any distance with this toolbox i'm just literally taking it out to my driveway setting it down 
uh, this it's nice to have all these options and I'm usually working with a couple of drivers going at the same time uh, so that I don't have to keep switching out sockets and stuff like that so I like having that there got some allen key sockets you're going to be using those a lot and I've got torque sockets for my vehicles I only really need a few of those torques I don't end up using the whole uh, rail of them so the ones that I use really commonly what I did was I bought these they're made by Bondus that make really good uh, high quality allen keys and things and these are flexible uh, they just get you into really tight spaces and they're just quicker and easier than putting that on a ratchet just sometimes you just want to use that takes no space at all and uh, you can put quite a bit of leverage on them really really good I have a load of seal picks all different shapes sizes these are just little cheapo ones I don't need anything better than that though they uh, they work good selection a little electrician screwdriver just getting into the smaller stuff and I've got a tire pressure gauge here just a manual one keep a little set of imperial allen keys I work with metric most of the time but I just have these uh, just as a little backup just in case uh, 7mm uh, allen key I think I use this for uh, brakes, if I remember right, that was for my brake disc. I don't know why that's in there, that's, I think that's what that was. Uh, I've got a little uh, set of adapters for my impact driver. I've only got a small impact driver, so it's nice to have the option to, uh, if I wanted to, I can use a, a half inch drive and a three eighths and a quarter inch driver, just gives me that option. Got a little nut driver here. Just for the quarter inch, uh, it saves me from having to carry a whole set of uh, spinners, but it gives me that option just to put that on there and use that, just like that. Really, really useful. For the small amount of space it takes up, it just gives me that option. And I've got a little quarter inch ratchet here, again from Halford, so it's got that lifetime warranty. Yeah, good quality. Few little adapters. I find myself using these adapters quite a bit when you're trying to troubleshoot and you're trying to uh, get around problems on vehicles and in engine bays, tight spaces. These can be a real lifesaver. So I've got the I've got a little bit of flexibility. If I want to use these, I can start changing. Uh, for, for, to smaller sockets using the 3.8 drive to the quarter inch and so on and you can see all the different ones I've got it's really good to have those good good selection uh, you can really modify your tools to, to work for you if you're using that uh, I've got my quarter inch drive sockets these are just cheap ones from Sealy I don't put a whole lot of pressure on these small ones so they've uh, held up really well Keep a socket for my wheels. I know what size I'm using every time. It's only going to be a 17 on the ones I've got at the moment. So it's good to keep this uh, in the box ready to go. It's got that nylon lining so that it protects your uh, wheels. And I keep some spark plug sockets here. They've got the rubber inside just to hold on to the spark plug when you pull it out. I keep a selection of bits. And I've got the security bits going on there, so they're, they're basically a Torx bit with a, a little uh, like recess in the middle. That's the main reason I keep these bits, just as a backup in case I don't have the tool that I need. Keep a little spare pack of blades for this utility knife. 
just a little small utility knife. I don't need anything too heavy duty in here. It's generally just used in this context for opening packaging and uh, maybe cutting the odd hose and things like that. It's, uh, it doesn't have to be particularly tough. So this is a nice little Gerber folding knife. I like this style of knife with a little push down. Blade pops out. It's pretty compact, doesn't take much space. And the other blade I carry is this one, which is just a scraper. Good for scraping gaskets and uh, things off. Keep a set of long sockets here. You find yourself using these quite a lot. Really, really good to have. Keep a little bit of ear protection. Just see some ear plugs in there. And I've got just general bits and pieces just lying around. That's just an old uh, sump plug. There you go, we've got a drill connection. So if, uh, if I wanted to use my drill, I can just stick the screwdriver bits in there. Just a little cheap one. Gives me just that option. And I've got a few little fuses and bits and pieces. Couple of little fuses and things, and a tiny little tube of super glue just as a just in case item. That's it for that one. This drawer here, this is my pliers and screwdriver drawer. Uh, good old selection. Hope you can see that all right. Uh, compared to the Craftsman toolbox, with the Craftsman toolbox you can see right to the back of the drawer. Uh, this is a bit of a letdown in the fact that you have to kind of reach towards the back there. Uh, but uh, but it still works. CK pliers, you'll see these in a lot of my videos. I've got a whole bunch of these, I, I love them. Really, really good for the price. Well worth having. These are the combination ones so that you can cut wires, you can grip things. Really general purpose tool but... Very useful. See a set of channel locks there. Nice multi purpose tool. You can put a lot of leverage on things with that. Great tool to have. There. Keep a set of vice grips. When you need these, you need that extra grip. I've got a nice big set in here so that it can, uh, I can really put some leverage on things. Great to have. This set here, just like a needle nose. As with all needle noses, they're just good for getting into tight spaces and things. Uh, this particular set, I've only got these in here mainly for, uh, I, I like to clamp off hoses and pipes and things. If I'm disconnecting something and I want to clamp it off, I can use this. And I know you can buy uh, specially made clamps but this is a really good multi-purpose tool uh, for a box such as this where I haven't got much space it's ideal uh, these are made by CH Hansen and they're the automatic ones I prefer the ones with the screw threads which you can see down there I prefer the, this style of one over these I find this just a little bit fiddly to use I'll do a separate review sometime but these are great to have in the box Screwdrivers, keep a nice little selection, uh, Phillips and slotted and I also keep a Phillips 3 because I find myself coming up across that quite a lot as well. It's worth having in there even though it's a bit of a chunky one but yeah good selection in there and I've got a 5 in 1 tool or sorry 6 in 1 tool I think they, they market it as, as. Uh, but this is the Craftsman. I really like American tools. I really quite like the Craftsman brand. As uh, you can see, it's just a multi bit, so you can just pull these out. You've got a slotted and a Phillips, and the bigger variety. And you can also use the end as a kind of nut driver. Very useful. Useful tools to have. Always keep a set of stubbies. You're going to need them. Great ones. And I've got a Craftsman bit holder, which goes really well with that 
bit set there should I need it and I keep a posi drive uh, driver on that this little screwdriver here this is a multi-purpose electrician screwdriver it's got all the little tiny bits there It'll be a shame to carry all these uh, all these screwdrivers and not be able to work on the small little electrical things should you need to get in there. So it's really good to have this in a toolbox such as this. It takes virtually no space. Not very expensive, but covers a lot of bases. My favourite pliers in the whole toolbox are these. Uh, these are the 8-inch uh, uh, CK needle nose pliers. Absolutely fantastic. Really, really nice, just for reaching, grabbing things, picking things out, um, just really good general purpose pliers. And they've got a nice long reach on them, whereas they often come in a lot shorter than this. Uh, really good value for the price. These long bent needle nose pliers, absolutely fantastic to have. You're often just scratching around in engine bays and things so where you have to reach down to, to get stuff pull things out these are really really good good to have these yeah these are nothing special just a cheap one but i'm not going to be putting huge amounts of pressure on the handles or anything like that so they work perfectly for what i need them for and the bent nose really gives you some good options so long needle nose pliers really recommend them Tecton pliers, so these Tecton uh, wire snips or diagonal cutters, whatever you want to call them. Uh, these are the high lev leverage ones, uh, really good for snipping all sorts of wires and tubes. Made in China, but the quality is really, uh, really good for what you pay for. I like these. Got a little pry bar there. That just saves my screwdrivers if I'm levering uh, stuff. And I keep a small uh, Phillips screwdriver there. This is the only piece of snap-on I own and probably will ever own. Uh, it's a slotted screwdriver. I use it more as just a beater or pry bar, just general purpose tool. I got it for a really good price. This is one set of screwdrivers I would actually really like to own the set. Uh, it's got a lovely shape to them, like a triangle kind of shape, so you can really put some good pressure on them. So they're, they're really nicely made. They're probably worth the, worth the price tag, but I'm just not going to own the whole set. That's that. Okay, on to the shiny drawer. This is all my shiny stuff, so it's all my spanners. Try and move the camera a bit so you can see it properly. There you go. So yeah, I, I keep uh, normal spanners there and I keep uh, ratcheting spanners uh, just there. Really nicely organized, as you can see. And it's easy to maintain this organization. It's not that hard. You're taking a few spanners out and they still just sit there well the way that I've got them. I, I experimented with getting those sort of shark teeth racks. It just wasn't needed. I can fit so much more with this. But if I was going to lighten the load, I wouldn't have the ratchets. As useful as they are, I find that the the ratchet portion doesn't quite get into a lot of the things that I need to, uh, to use them on. This bit's just a little bit too fat. So they are very useful. But if I was to drop uh, anything out of this to be lighter, it'll be, it'll be these. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of spanners. I, I, I added to the set a little bit. It only went up to uh, 19 uh, uh, millimeters. I took it all the way up to 22 millimeters just to give me that option should I need it. Um, but I don't need that. I've got uh, WD-40 at the back here. And I've also, for my spanners, I should say, I also added to the smaller ones. These are really good to have, really, really useful working on brakes and things like that, working on lawn mowers should I need it, uh, working on small appliances, really, really good to have a small set of spanners. So they just sit in a little bit of a pile back there. There's no point in trying to organize them. Uh, they just sit nicely. WD-40 I just use for a little bit of loosening up of uh, parts, cleaning of parts, uh, that's good. 
I use this uh, as a cheater bar. It's just an old uh, box spanner. And uh, I can just put this on. Put it on a spanner. Really get some good leverage off of it. Probably avoid the warranties, but very good. And I can also put this on a, a breaker bar or a ratchet just to get that extra leverage if I need it. And it's it's really useful to have. I've, I use it most of the time because there's, there's always things that are seized up. Uh, really, really good tool. So that's that drawer. On to what I call the scruffy drawer. So as you can see, a little bit, little bit messier. This is all the random tools that don't really have a place in the ones above. So I keep a nice ball peen hammer, engineer's hammer, a 16 ounce. This has got a graphite handle just for knocking wheels about and, and general, general use in a mechanics toolbox. Uh, I use the handle a lot as a kind of rubber mallet. Whenever I want to protect something uh, that wouldn't come off well with a, a metal hammerhead, I, I use this and I can just give it a good thud with that. So it's really useful to have. Gonna need that. Carry a big pry bar. I found myself constantly going back into the workshop uh, to go and get this um, because you just need to put leverage on things. Uh, so yeah, I keep this in here now. Save me the walk and discern its place. Got a wire brush. It's a nice and thin one and I managed to trim off uh, the scraper blade because it was a lot wider just so it can fit in the drawer. Sometimes you just got to modify things a little bit. So I trimmed it off and now it just fits on its side really, really well in here. But a lot of them usually come out a bit fatter than this. So yeah, useful. Keep a little wire brush. Good for spark plugs, good for general cleaning of screws, bolts, uh, you name it. This and a bit of WD-40 comes in useful all the time. Got a little junior hacksaw. Cutting bits up. And when I'm working on brakes, I've got a bungee cord just for hanging calipers. And I've got a, an S hook. The two of those combined, I can usually... Uh, make it work. Carry a file just for knocking burrs off things. And I've got some, I've got a pry bar here. Use this uh, pry bar, this is a trim one, so this is just for the interior of vehicles. Uh, it's all soft around the edges so that it doesn't uh, scratch up the interior of the cars, the panels. And it's got nice rounded edges, and these fit perfectly on the popper pins of, uh, on the inside of cars. Really, really good to have. This is the tool that I have if, I, if I'm reach, reaching into my uh, main big toolbox out the back. And it's, it sits in there, and you can just see how it works just to remove the popper. These are great, great tool. This is my preference, far superior to this little pry bar, but it's nice to have this in here as an option because it's just so compact. I slide it there, you can barely even see it. And I also keep one of these pry bars. I mentioned these in quite a few videos, absolutely love them. Really cheap, really, really useful. Good as scrapers, good as little mini pry bars. Um, just really, really handy to have. Just taking over a, uh, a small Japanese car recently, and I hear that they use these star bits. So I've got these in in there because I've got a feeling I'm going to be using them quite a bit coming up. Uh, carry a whole set of punches for lining up things, uh, for bashing things, for cutting things, you name it. Good set of punches should be in just about any engineers or mechanics toolbox good to have a nice little selection use them for real general purpose tasks i keep a little roll of electric electrical tape uh, for small electrical repairs or for uh, binding things out the way uh, retaining things 
it's just really useful just to have a little bit of tape in some description. And I keep a small tape measure. For a box like this, it doesn't need to be a big one. It just needs to be a little three meter one like this. Fits nice and easy, doesn't take too much space. I use it a lot if I'm going and shopping uh, for parts or something like that and I just need to compare sizes or something. It's just, it's just good to have that in there and save me a walk. I keep a little tin of pens. These chalk pens are good, marking dirty parts and anything that you just want to wipe it off really easy and I've got a sharpie marker in there. I keep a little tube of lube there and a pen. If I've got a little bit of a shopping list to take with me then I can just write that on my hand or something and I've got a pencil. Carpenter's pencil, just heavy juicy. This lives in that little tin. And I keep a little piece of uh, Scotch Brite, Brillo pad, whatever you want to call it, just for cleaning things up. Just sits under there nicely. And that's it. That is my Mechanics Toolbox. It's an all-encompassing toolbox that just holds the majority of tools that I will need uh, just for working on my driveway. And, uh, and if I had to go and help someone out on the road, I can just pack this box and I should be able to cover all bases. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, please uh, feel free to comment, like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.